हेलो नमस्कार यू आर यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन दिस इज लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ एन सी ई आर टी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन चैनल नंबर टेन एंड बिसाइड दिस यू आर ऑल्सो वॉचिंग अस ऑन अवर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल माई नेम इज रजन राजपूत एंड दिस इज अ क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश सो इंग्लिश वी आर लर्निंग टूडे एनालिटिकल पैराग्राफ and i'm sure you are preparing for your pre board exams or uh, your main board exams and you also preparing uh, like uh, in a uh, before time you are also preparing for essay and paragraph writing but this time uh, analytical paragraph i'm sure you all are aware of uh, writing but this is a topic of uh, analytical paragraph and the guest with us aap hai Uh, ma'am mrs poonam kapoor you are a freelancer and formally you are a kvs teacher ma'am you are most welcome in the studio namaskar ma'am namaskar and a very good afternoon to the students of class 10 dear viewers this is a interactive session so we are also welcome your questions and queries you write your queries and uh, mail us it's uh, our mail id show on your screen this is dth.class10 @cit Uh, sorry dts dot class tenth at the rate c i e t dot n i c dot i n and beside this you can also call and ask your queries and our call call number is also showing on your screen that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine so let's start with today's topic uh, ma'am uh, even I would like to know that what is analytical paragraph writing and we used to get uh, Like uh, essay writing or paragraph writing in our time, in our school yes. time when we are well, in board Sujan, exams. Yes, uh, well, you are right. Analytical paragraph is a new topic introduced in class ten, and it is a descriptive writing. Okay. So, like essay writing and paragraph writing, it is a descriptive type of writing, and it is a written text based on the analysis of the data provided. Analytical paragraph. So this. is one question in the question paper of class 10 where hmm. question is given and answer is also given okay the students have to interpret it analyze it hmm. and write their answers in the prescribed word limit taking this type of question or taking this type of analytical paragraph hmm. uh, what what teachers uh, want to um, take from students means what they want to uh, evaluate uh, evaluate yes actually you, uh, it is a very good question what do they want to evaluate so um, see the stud uh, the teachers want to see their writing skills okay their uh, gram grammar spellings punctuation and their organizational uh, analysis uh, their skills this is a competency based question okay so uh, this is basically different from uh, uh, writing paragraph or essay writing I'm yes okay. correct this is uh, in fact visual representation of facts which is the part of the question the students must read the question first properly and then see the visual provided with that and then they have to express their Uh, ideas along with the facts ma'am is this a compulsory exam uh, question if this is a compulsory question mostly this is um, question number 5 in the question paper okay mm. <laughs> so uh, in the questions list of question number 12 11 so uh, i think uh, this is uh, students uh, really interesting one to know analytical paragraph from yes, poonam ma'am number 5 and uh, Uh, the marks for this question pa- uh, this question is analytical paragraph uh, it is 5 marks question analytical paragraph is for 5 marks question and the these 5 marks are further uh, you know they are further um, bifurcated like content is 3 marks content carries 3 marks then expression okay expression is 1 mark okay ma'am and what is the uh, prescribed word limit for this question See this question ha- this uh, question has to be attempted in 100 to 120 words okay isn't it so they okay. have to express interpret that data that visual provided to them in 100 to 120 words the content is there expression is there and then format format also carries one mark so this is the uh, division of five marks which is question number 5 only and for five marks okay yes ma'am So, ma'am, let's uh, begin the chapter and begin this uh, interesting one, analyti- analytical paragraph writing. Yes, analytical paragraph writing. So, let's start. First of all, you ask me that what is analytical paragraph? See, this is a paragraph. 
yes. along with analysis. Hmm. So, this makes it analytical paragraph, a written text based on the analysis of the subject. So, this paragraph is written, uh, hmm. you can say that 7 to 8 lines are required to write and it is based on the development of the single idea, that idea which is depicted in the visual. Okay. the picture is not it and it may stand alone or it may relate to a larger topic. It, it is not essay writing, it has to be attempted in 100 to 120 words. Ma'am, there is any criteria of uh, judging this, the judging the topic like coming from any social topic, any political topic? See, uh, the source of um, this question may be any research paper, newspapers, articles, from anywhere a paragraph, um, a chart, okay. is not it, or a graph, data, outlines, bar graph, line hmm. graph or table is given and um, then students have to, they are expected to interpret it hmm. in the form of a paragraph. So, when writing an analytical paragraph, they must remember to describe the facts that are given in that question itself in a uh, possible, in the best possible manner and they have just to interpret the information that is given. They should not add anything from their own side, it should not mismatch whatever is given, they must uh, elaborate on that only and as I have told you that it is to be written in 100 to 1. 20 words. So, the paragraph must use clear and mm -hmm. crisp language along with providing complete details of the chart given in the question. So, first of all they should read the question twice or thrice during their reading time mm -hmm. before the paper starts and then see the visual properly and plan the content, the expression and the format. What should be the opening line and how should they start it and how will they elaborate it. So, while writing the analytical paragraph, they must keep in mind that they have to describe that particular pie chart, data, graph, q, line graph, etcetera. They have to be very, very brief and comprehensive, but entire information has to be added. Okay. They cannot leave out anything. They have to cover up everything in 100 to 120 words. And they should state the facts, nothing to be added from their own side hmm. and so there is no need to mug up. Hmm. They should relax and they should learn the technique, they should know what are the features of the analytical writing, paragraph writing and they should also mention about the figure, the quantities appropriately and I will make them their work easy by providing them some words and phrases that can help them write, attempt this question in the best possible manner. And then one thing they should keep in mind that same tense is to be used. Okay. They, they will not change the tense sometimes past tense, present tense or future tense. Throughout they will write, uh, they will use one tense only and no personal observation, no mm -hmm. comments from their own side or, or their own response should be given and preferably this question is attempted in passive voice. Okay. Is not it? Hmm. So, passive voice and the language should be simple and accurate. Now, analytical paragraphs is of different kinds. Hmm. This question number 5, analytical paragraph may be data based, it hmm. may be problem and solution based, process description based, information based or map based. Okay. Is not it? So, they hmm. have to, they must practice all these types of analytical paragraphs. Now, data based is that data is presented in the form of as I just now to, uh, said pie chart, bar graph, line graph or table and then this data is used to make comparisons and draw conclusions from it. Got it ma'am. Okay. And then problem and solution based, what is that? Now, uh, this uh, uh, type of question involves suggesting some solution to the problem and it is um, where, um, the um, facts are presented in a logical manner and problem is presented and students have to suggest some solution based on the logic they are uh, providing, they, are support, they have to support it with arguments, reasons and proper data. Then is descript process description based. So, here it is in the form of a flow chart process, hmm. is not it process writing. So, 
visual or infographics are provided and they have to interpret the same. Okay, ma'am. Now, next is information based. Now, here this involves processing and understanding of the information that is presented there as an input and students are expected to describe in the form of a paragraph and remember they have to remember one thing the word limit should not exceed 100 to 120 words mm -hmm. and the last one is map based. So, this involves two maps presented with significant differences some additions and alterations. So, students have to analyze these changes and they have to summarize in the form of a paragraph they should also note when a thing is constant mm -hmm. how long after how long when it changes and this um, information they have to write in a very in a very cohesive manner is not it. Yes ma'am. So, uh, taking uh, in a positive way every student must be uh, in a mind very clearly you have to write everything very positively in a fluently in a you have fluent to give manner, the, yes. yes you have to give a uh, definition then your data then your uh, graph See the mapping. opening only one paragraph they have to start uh, with the opening line opening line then two three arguments are supported with proper facts hmm. from the figure proper arguments or proper logic and and then they have to conclude it as you uh, mentioned no assumption or your uh, uh, personal thoughts yes no personal thoughts no mismatch no uh, fictional thing hmm. strictly based on that uh, line bar or pie chart maps diagrams cues processes etc yes ma'am now, what is about let us come to our format from the examination point of view. So, mm. analytical paragraph as I have just explained it is divided into three parts the introduction part the topic sentences elaborated mm. and the topic the title has to be maximum in three to four words it should not be too long and the first sentence in the uh, analytical paragraph it has to be the elaboration of that top and uh, title. Got it ma'am. And then the introduction of the evidence then what is the source is hmm. it a pie chart it is a graph it is the diagram it is a pie chart they must mention that also in the opening lines only. Then the body consists of the evidence analysis and transition the overview and uh, last in the last sentence that is the concluding sentence they should uh, conclude it within 120 words limit. Only. And ma'am at last I also want to know what are the common mistakes that children make in writing analytical paragraph writing. Common mistakes are many like uh, what happens is that they uh, supply information from their own side sometimes they start very confidently but then they digress okay. they move away from the topic mm -hmm. they start providing information from their own sentence own, own mind is not it they do not stick to the topic which is very important and um, they have to stay on the topic which they have to keep in mind the ex uh, they should not elaborate extra elaborate any point or ignore important mm -hmm. things that are given the entire information of the visual has to be jotted down in one paragraph in one single mm -hmm. paragraph and they have to justify their statement with the given facts. Okay, so, the body of the paragraph uh, I have already explained that they must keep in mind the smallest and the largest see the x axis and the y axis hmm. is not it. So, they have to mention organization information they have to keep which are the smallest quantities given what is the largest thing given there they can write, uh, write a sentence on that any aspect that are similar should be mentioned next and then um, uh, what has remained unchanged or constant throughout that also needs to be mentioned. If there is any contrast how will they compare if there is any contrast or comparison that could be drawn they should write it effectively and if the chart is about a particular period time period hmm. it highlights some trends of several years then they have to mention each in a concise manner because word limit has to be kept in the mind while mentioning the quantities uh, numbers and figures their accuracy must be ensured if whatever is given they have to write that only they cannot supply any information any fact any data from their side and the connecting sentences hmm. uh, they uh, occupy an important place is not hmm. it connecting the connectors. So, 
they should use good connector or linking phrases as you already mentioned same tense so same tense and but there should be no rep, uh, repetition and the last sentence should summarize the idea mentioned and information in general and it should be the closing statement hmm. now uh, children i am sure that you have understood how to write the analytical paragraph one paragraph of 5 marks uh, has to be written in uh, 100 to 120 words hmm. and um, suggested points are I will make this question easier for you by giving you uh, some words and phrases that can be used in the intro of, uh, f uh, introduction uh, the beginning line hmm. like the following phrases can be used the chart given the chart given the line the bar graph given describes or the table suggests or the line graph shows the data given provides information about the topic jo bhi hai, the pie chart illustrates that so these words can be used in the opening line and hmm. for describing trends when you are when there is some trend hmm. some trend upward trend low you can write it is stagnated it started to show, um, started to fall drop down slightly etc these uh, phrases can be used but when the quantities you are describing then you can write 48 percent of one third of nearly one fourth of these are the words and phrases that help you to get good marks majority on an average twice as much almost equal the lightest the lowest very close to two percent approximately five percent or just under 3%. So, such words should be used if you are describing quantities and mm -hmm. relationship how you can establish a relationship or contrast by using the word similarly in contrast with this mm -hmm. trend is not it in comparison to but in the opposite case however whereas where it comes to so these words if you uh, keep them handy they will help you score better marks and they will avoid help in avoiding repetition striking difference noticeable difference these are the phrases that you can use in writing analytical paragraphs and the concluding line also you must write overall overall the trend shows this subsequently in mm -hmm. all in a nutshell in short striking changes therefore etc these words and phrases help you get good marks now let us come to one question dear students you can also share this uh, the link of this uh, video or this session with your friends uh, who is working with uh, this topic analytical paragraph and you can take a screenshot of when ma'am shown the screen you can take the screenshot and uh, take this picture to your uh, in front of you when you are preparing for your exams that that makes you better taking exams getting more exam marks, marks and making you comfortable and confident yes ma'am isn't it before sitting in the exam so now this question let us see this question it it says you ask people what they thought was the most valuable thing see, okay uh, survey is conducted the given pie chart you can see shows the analysis of the different answers you received hmm. write an analytical paragraph for a research project in 100 to 120 words now you can see straight away um, 48 percent knowledge some people say knowledge is, imp is important 20 percent say love is more important power according to 6 percent people power is more important it is the most valuable thing money is valuable for 18 percent and fame is important for 8 percent now how to write the answer this is hmm. the verbal input that you will get in the um, uh, exam the visual as well as the verbal um, output now let us see how we will write the given pie chart displays the analysis of different answers to the question of what people thought was the most valuable thing in the world. Now, this sentence you have taken from the question. Yes. How simple this is. Hmm. Now, the next the pie chart you have mentioned because you could identify the visual given was the pie chart is divided into five sections meaning hmm. that the total number of responses received were five is not it yes, 48 sir. like see uh, they were five knowledge love power money and fame so now you will describe uh, these five responses the pie chart shows that the majority first of all see i hmm. use this word i majority. give you this word majority of people think knowledge to be the most valuable thing to possess hmm. and for 48 percent knowledge holds 48 percent people of the pie chart which indicates almost half of the responses said that knowledge is the most 
valuable thing. On the other hand, power mm. is the most valuable position according to the minority of the respondents. How? Mm. See, power only 6 percent. So, you have compared and contrasted knowledge with power. That was the highest, that, mm. was, that is the lowest. lowest. So, fame is almost on the same level as power. This is how you have compared and only 2 percent or um, uh, more. Love and money hold 20 and 20, uh, 18 percent of the pie chart respectively. So, this is how you have interpreted that data hmm. in the form of a paragraph. And now, let us come to the last the conclusion part in a nutshell you have used this phrase in mm. a nutshell knowledge is said to be the most valuable thing. Mm, uh, many people consider love and money to be almost equally important very few people give importance to power and frame, fame and this is how you have attempted the you have attempted the given. Uh, the last uh, line yeah the last line is like uh, like the giving moral of the story yes like in a nutshell no? uh, yes. so it's it shows that you have covered all the steps while hmm. answering this question because see the opening line has different uh, marks than the body and then the last hmm. Uh, uh, last sentence is equally important so children what you have to keep in mind is avoid repetition hmm. uh, do not add any information from your side summarize the information by selecting the main features is not it and use good words no repetition at all your analysis should support the given figure or data and last sentence should be generalize your stance yes ma'am is not it uh, students you are also learning a uh, pie chart in your maths but uh, this time you can get uh, five free marks of uh, writing that analytical and paragraph. just you have to interpret see the, the next uh, example you can see the bar graph at um, that uh, I think we are running short of time but yes, you can have a look at this bar graph in uh, on one side years are mentioned 1990 95 2000 2005 210 now the for this data is in the form of histogram it shows death due to violence Hmm. death due to violence has increased considerably during recent years. So, you have to interpret it and uh, how educated youth can play a major role in establishing uh, peace in the society. Yes, you student this example you can take as your example or uh, your homework also and please share your homework also with the, our mail id that is dth.class10 adiretcit.nic.in. Thank you so much ma'am for uh, uh, learning and teaching us this uh, important topic analytical paragraph in English. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you Srijan. It was a pleasure to be with the students and be with you. Thank you so much ma'am. Dear student, there is another important piece of information regarding your textbook. Uh, the textbooks of uh, session, uh, this session 2023 to 2024 is also available across the country and the sales counter and the sales counter is in Delhi, Ahmedabad, Kolkata and Guwahati. The, uh, this uh, information is also flashing on your screen and time to wrap up the show. My name is Rajan Rajput. Stay take care and uh, bye bye.